Hello, and welcome to a replay analysis with me, your host, Vibe. And today we're looking at Diamond Level Protoss. Uh, Root Vibe is a uh, Diamond Level player. We're going to be helping him out today. Uh, you know, we're going to be uh, making sure he's doing things right, doing not doing things wrong. We're just going to make sure he's doing things all good. <laughs> I actually had no idea this is a replay with me until I just looked at that. Uh, yeah, we're helping Mon, Mon Capitan is asking for this replay analysis over a year after we played this game. And I had no idea this is what he submitted, but now I do. So I don't. I honestly do not remember. I don't remember what happens in this game. I'm not going to lie. So let's see things from your perspective. Well, yes, this is a diamond action here. So... Take away the names. Take away the build tab. That way we can't see what's going on. We need to just be uh, on point here. All right. So, so far, your build's fine. Sorry, I was just wanted to mess really quick too, my bad. But yeah, nothing's really happening in the game. Your scout timing is good. Uh, Uh, <laughs> your scout timing is fine. Um, your next, you're going one gate nexus. So one, one gate nexus is also super fucking sketch. It's super risky. In uh, PvP. Just because if you go one gate nexus, anyone out there, if you ever do this, going one gate nexus is a it's a power move okay it's a greed you're like hey i'm a macro you ain't gonna stop shit okay yeah. i'm doing what i want and that's fucking scary because uh if i decided to attack you uh with like something really aggressive i could totally fucking make your life a living hell you have to be very good at defending a lot of different kinds of shit when you go nexus first or nexus oh, early like this yeah. but you did scout and see i was doing it as well so that makes it a little less uh stressful because obviously we're doing the same build now so it's fine but in general, if you do one gate nexus in normal PvP games, that's fucking scary. And people, man, thank you very much for the gifted subs. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you very much, man. Oh, yeah. Is core first more standard in PvP? Yeah. I would say a standard build in PvP is actually double gateway core and then expand. And the reason why is because Protoss are very annoying at harassing each other's worker lines if you're not careful. Also, the, the threat of proxy robo is very scary. Like, Protoss can definitely kill each other really, really heavily in the early game if you don't. If you're not on point and like on top of things, defensively. I'm here in shadows. Okay. <laughs> Second gateway. That's all good. Uh, Robo, okay. It looks like you're doing beta GM style. It looks like you're doing beta GM style. Um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh, 
So one thing I would say is scary for you is the only thing that I'm sketched out about for you right now is you don't have a read on if I am or am not going to go adepts here. So in the future, for you to be super safe, having like a, like maybe put your stalker more towards the front of your base so you're okay, but so you can see further out, but you need to uh, definitely have the ability to wall this off with a probe because if you don't, like you need to be able to put a battery there because if you don't have that and I just run in your base, I could kill way more probes than uh, you would want. I could probably kill like seven probes before my adepts die. Or make you run away your whole mineral line, and then I won't kill many probes, but then you're not mining at all. It would either way it would suck for you. Like that would be rough. I'm <laughs> Okay, so you have a third base uh, going up. You just scouted my base. I'm not doing something too aggressive. Uh, I mean, it's 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 okay. Okay, for like like diamond level shit, this works. This does feel super risky, though. Like, this this feels... Uh, like, you're just uh, so susceptible to so many different types of aggression right now. But you did see I'm, I'm going Robo, so I'm, we're doing similar builds, right? <coughs> but, like, right now... Like, this area over here is so exposed. But I mean, I, can, I clear, clearly can tell you're doing beta gym series style stuff. It is very beta Jimmy. There we go. I like that more. Taking another base. Your macro overall is uh, not bad. I mean, you're actually ahead of me. The pacing that I'm playing you at right now, which again was going to be a diamond level game, right? So you're ahead of you're ahead of your opponent. Okay. So you're you're overall spending relatively well. I will say one one thing you could do, if you ever got comfortable to do this, like you, eventually you would get comfortable to do this. But one thing you could do, would be, to attack your opponent, and uh, make them fall behind while you. Macro up yourself more behind it, so you like. You take trades, ideally good trades, and then you uh, put them further behind while you're getting further ahead, ideally, because you're both we're both being greedy. So, yeah, poking a little bit is always a uh, 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 ideally effective thing. Uh, uh, effective thing to do. Just sitting back here passively, doing nothing. It's a little sketch, but at least you're expanding. The the, the only thing that makes sense by sitting back defensively is expanding a lot, but like. Like, for instance, you're taking this base, and if I was going to say for BDGM style, like Platinum or something, or Diamond, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, this is fine. But if we're talking like Masters or GM, and you're taking a base like this right now this fast, and you're not doing any type of pressure, I would hope at the very least you would take the fucking Zonlaga Tower. Like, if I just show up, I instantly kill this base. Uh, Like, you're just out of position. <coughs> but if your army's going to AFK, 
it's in a pretty decent spot the fk because this is obviously more important over here than that is right now More gateways. Um, Okay, more mortals. We're both scouting with sentry hallucinations. You're getting double upgrades on forage or gates. Your next base needs to be started like right now. You're gonna fall behind if you don't take another base right now. Right now your probe count is at 80, the mid 80s, but here's the thing, your main base is starting to mine out. And if you don't have another base started by eight minutes, you're gonna start falling behind. So like for instance, if we look at, if, because this is B to GM, I would say, if we look at my side, I guarantee that I probably have a fifth base started right now. So you're falling behind now. This is the first moment in this game I would say you're starting to fall behind. Every two minutes you want to have another base started if you're playing beta gym style. Which is you're trying to just maximize 80 plus drones. Because you got to realize, think about it for a second. Naturals between two minutes, third base is at four minutes, fourth base is at six minutes. Fifth base would be at eight minutes, and the perfect thing about eight minutes is that there's two reasons why eight minutes is a super important number. That's when your fifth base is taken, because that's every two minutes you're having another base, and that that your fifth base happens to be the eight minute mark, okay? Because it's one every two minutes, but you start with one, you don't start with zero. And then on top of that, a base mines out every eight minutes, half of the patches. So at the eight minute mark, you're going to start losing your patches. This is standard. Eight minutes after this base was taken, and it's mining. Eight minutes later, the patches will start mining out. Eight minutes after this base was mining, the patches will start mining out on the clo on the far patches. Sorry. The close patches have 1,800. The far patches have 900. And the far patches will mine out in 18 minutes. And the close patches will mine out in like 15 minutes or so. The reason why it's not exactly 16. <coughs> I say 16 before just to keep it easy for people. But it's really more like 15, but the reason why that is is because it's closer to the Nexus, so it's not exactly the same mining value. It's a little bit faster, but it's double. But it's still a little faster, so it mines out usually in like 15 minutes, not 16. Roughly. But yeah, you're falling behind in economy, simply put. That's all it is. And now you're going to start having a... Your remax potential is going to suck balls now because of this. Also, you need to make Archons. I don't know what these Templar are doing, but they really need to become Archons. You need to use your Chrono Boost. You're using it pretty decently. You could do it a little bit better, but it's not bad. You need to Chrono Boost your upgrades, like, really badly. Like, I'm not seeing enough Chronos. So, for instance, you're not even 1-1 one, one yet. And if we look at this army over here, we are 1-0. And what's my forge looking like? We're already 35 seconds into level 2 uh, upgrade. So, we're, we're getting pretty far ahead of you. We're, like, more than, ha like, 40 seconds ahead of you right now in upgrade. Granted, I don't have two forges, and you do. But you need to Chrono Boost your forge more. It's like, watch my forge. It's probably going to get chrono boosted really quickly after it's being used here. Probably, right? I would imagine. It should be. Because we're not chrono boosting it. Whatever. It's it's not. Okay, we. I, 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 don't look at me. I'm, I suck. You need a chrono boost, though. And you just did. So good job. Okay, we both happened to attack the same area. Okay. All right, <coughs> and you won that fight. So, because you won that fight, 
what you should be if I were you if that was me in your position right now what I would do is I would keep macroing I would ideally not have 1500 minerals in the bank right now I'd be macroing my balls off and I would be telling my army to go attack instead of sit here you just won the fight capitalize on that don't sit there AFK okay there we go good shit you, you sat there for probably like 10 seconds but now you're going so good Your money is over 2,000. Very not good. Really got a macro better here. How many per gateways do you have? Right now you have... 15 gateways. With another 3 in production. So you have 18 gates right now. Or no, you have 19 gates. Because one of them is a gateway. It hasn't actually become a, a, a warp gate yet. So you have 19 gates right now. And 2 robos. That's enough to spend your money. You're just not doing it enough. Honestly. And where are you warping in units? Where are you making units at? Fuck. Making units over here. So, keep in mind... <clears throat> okay. If you want to attack, you can totally max out again and just let your previous army go die. Okay. However... If your army stops and chills for a little while, it's no longer really worth it to just send it in to go die. Because every second that goes by, you're wasting time, right? So, like, go back for a second. This moment's really important. It's very important. The fight happens. The fight ends. You win the fight. You now chill for a while. This moment is very important. You're not doing anything. You're standing there. That was literally 10 seconds of just sitting there. That's, you guys may or may not know this, but 10 seconds is like half of a fucking macro cycle out of your gateways. That's a lot of time. That's important. It can make the difference of like me having another full round of gateway, essentially, because he also has to go up to my base now. Like he didn't, he didn't utilize attacking me quickly. So I now can, the odds of me overwhelming you go up a lot every second you waste like that. So... When this happens, if you wait like that, it would actually make more sense to bring everything or just wait for another round. It would make the most sense if you win the fight for your army just to immediately go attack. But because it didn't go attack, this is kind of questionable now because you waited so long, which is why it dies, by the way. This is this is a big reason as to why it dies. It's because you're missing your window of opportunity. So it would make more sense then if you're gonna if you end up being like oh fuck I forgot to attack whoops I waited you may as well just start over and max out again because right now you have a fucking sixteen supply lead right now you do and you have also the ability to have even way more than that you have t imagine if that was supply and zealots imagine if that was uh, twenty zealots which is forty supply you could be at one hundred ninety out of two hundred right now if you spent your money and imagine if you were attacking me. With 190 supply. Imagine if you had like 174 supply attacking me. And like the last zealots you warped in. Running over to my base to attack me as well right now. And they were like running from here. Like I'd probably die. I probably would die. But instead. You start warping in a bunch of units here that are just chilling. These guys are all sitting here right. They're just being built up here. And these guys are getting killed by my army. And the difference is, my warpins are in the fight. Everything is all at once on you. Your warpins are away from the fight, waiting. 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 And that's why it makes no sense that you sent it in late. Because I just overwhelmed you. So you either send it in right away or you don't send it in at all until you're maxed out again. Also, you're, you're falling behind not only that, but also on your macro because your fifth base was late. And now, by, by now, by 10 minutes, you should have a sixth base by 10 minutes. If you notice, I was on one, two, three, four, five. You're on one, two, three, four, five. I guarantee I have a sixth base by now. It's 11 minutes. Your sixth base is very late. 
Two minutes. You should be expanding. Every two minutes. You're doing a zealot run by? This is interesting. This is kind of sketch. It's a little sketchy because you're doing it by itself, but. I, I mean, it could work, hypothetically. But, like, if you look at this, right? Like, I'm starting to defend it right as you start attacking it. We have battery overcharge on. Trying to warp in units to fight you off. And I'm not going to lie. This is what you call, it's kind of like a wash. It was like a trade. We both kind of lost probably equal amounts of resources there. And whenever things like that happen, it always gives the advantage to whoever is mining more. Okay. And right now I would say that makes more, that move logically makes more sense for me than it does for you because I have more bases than you. So I love trades. Like if we lose equal amounts of resources, but I'm mining more than you overall. I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. Like we have almost equal amounts of mineral income right now. But I have like obviously those were minerals only though, right? Well, we have almost equal amounts of mineral income. But I have way more gas income than you. We have the same amount of probes. But it's a simple factor of that I have. I don't have inefficient mineral lines like this. I don't have an inefficient mineral line like that. I don't have an inefficient mineral line like that. I don't have you have that. That's good. But you're not even mining the gas here. And then this is fine for now. But again, here in a second, your third base is going to mine out even more. Your fourth base uh, it has a little bit of time. But if you don't take another base soon, it's going to start mining out. And remember, remember what I said? The two-minute rule? You should be taking your next base again about now. So and if we look at this. Vibu going to expand right now. And... Mon Capitan have a no base right now. You should have this base and this base starting. This base should be done. This base should be starting. You're very bar you're two bases behind now. You're about to fix that with one, it looks like, but still, you're behind. You're mining you're going back. You're just mining it. So like right now? Right now it looks like, oh yeah, this is about even. This is roughly even. But in reality, your Remax potential is going to be less than mine because you just don't have the efficiency that we do going forward. So we attack, you attack, everyone's attacking. Now watch this, watch this, watch this, right? Watch this. We just killed your natural. Look at the top left here. Look at the top left. We just killed your natural. You just killed my fifth base. So we both just killed a base. This is way more impactful though than this because I just killed one fifth of your bases and you killed like one seventh of my bases. So it's just, this is more severe for you. And then you kill my next base. And to be fair, a lot of people are probably watching this being like, Vibe, what the fuck, dude? Like, you're not even microing. This is B to GM. I did a B to GM example with him. Obviously, we should be microing a little bit. We should actually be trying to use our units a little bit more than no micro at all if we're, like, talking about, like, diamond level. And to be fair, Mon Capitan, you're, like, gold league, right? You're not actually diamond. You're gold league, right? I said that totally wrong. I'm pretty sure you're actually gold league. Or you were. You're diamond? You are diamond three? Okay, never mind. Uh, I feel like I talked to you a long time ago in your gold league. But either way, micro your units in Diamond League is kind of nice. You don't want to just AFK your shit. So I should have absolutely pulled my units back, ran my probes away, grouped up somewhere else, and didn't just let all my fucking Archons die. Uh, meanwhile, over here, you should actually just abandon the base and not try to warp in and kill me here. A DT is nice. If I don't have an Observer, that's wonderful for you. But uh, yeah. Like, your DT's actually doing work right now.
Dun, 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 dun. So your main base is totally dead. And now remember, you've killed one, two, three of my bases. I've killed one, two of yours. But it still leaves the fact that I still have four bases and you have three. I still am a... You've killed one more base than I have and I'm still ahead. Isn't that crazy? You've killed three. I've killed two. Yet I'm still ahead. That's uh... It's just a simple fact that you don't expand fast enough. And now you just killed another base, right? You just killed another base, so that's now the fourth base of mine you've killed. And I'm now am killing another base of yours, so now this is the fourth base of yours. I just killed this base too. I killed your third. So you, at this point, you're start, you're now starting to work on my fifth base overall. This was actually my fifth base right here for where I put it like time-wise. But this is my fifth base you're going to kill. Or no, sorry. This is my sixth base you're going to kill. Because you killed one, two, three, four, five. This is my fifth base you're going to kill. And this is your fourth base I'm going to kill. And when we both kill it, that leaves me on two bases and you on one base. And to be fair, look at this as well. You're not doing anything in terms of relocating and fixing. Let's look at what we're doing on this side. I've fixed this base. I've fixed this base. This base is going to die. I'm, I'm back on five bases, theoretically. And you are right now on two. So you're not, you're not, you're just not expanding enough. So you're killing another base. Your bases are dying. This, your army is getting kind of thinned out at this point. Barely. You almost had it. It was very close to being a victory, but you're, uh, you're looking like you're going to die here. And now this is your last base. There's no evacuation, no no plan, no other stuff here. And everything's dead. And all, all said and done, you're now moving this army into my base again. But like, and this base is going to do some damage. This is going to do some damage to me with your army. But you have to kill this base. You have to kill this base. You'd have to kill this base again. You'd have to kill this base again. You'd have to kill this base again. Like, I'm just relocating constantly. I'm always, like, fixing, 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 fixing. And this is a mistake that a lot of people make when they're in lower leagues. They just, like, don't fucking keep up with it. They're like, ah, dang it. And now you're dead to a base trade. You still had to kill... Uh, te uh, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 33, 37 structures. You still had to work your way through 37 structures... And I just killed your entire base. And it's simply because we just built more than you did. Like, we just kept relocating and fixing and expanding and fixing and relocating. And you just kind of were like, ah, fucking send it. Whatever happens, happens. Let's see what, let's see what we can do here. So that's why, like, that's a big problem. It's not even about killing the natural or the main first. The only reason why I did that is because I chose to go left. I went along the left side of the map. That is the only Because the previous time we attacked the right side. And then we attacked the left side. That's the only reason why I attacked your natural. Because it happens to be going through the left. And you had no bases on the left. I would have been killing your expansions on the left had you had them. But you didn't take them. So you didn't have just have them at all. So I just went straight to your natural then. Uh, but yeah. Uh... Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that helps a little bit. You really got to expand faster and keep up with that stuff faster. Uh, and that will definitely help you, you know, get, get faster overall at dealing with shit. But thank you for watching. Thank you for talking. Thank you for being here for Vibu Replay Analysis. This has been a uh, diamond level, like kind of like platinum. I, I, wouldn't, I definitely don't think this is diamond level. If you want my honest opinion, this was not a diamond game. This is, this is a platinum game. Because if this was diamond, we would be microing a lot more. Uh, I would I, I I didn't micro at all this game. Um, there was no micro really to be had in by either side. But I would definitely classify this as like plat level. But uh, yeah, this is just really a macro lesson more than anything. 
of, as to like, you gotta just stay on top of things. But thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Mon Capitan, for doing a redemption, man. I appreciate you. And uh, guys, good luck in your own games. If you're out there, this, you, you're uh, someone who's in Platinum or below, I hope this helps you. Um, and yeah, much love. Take it easy. And good luck.